Right now, a group of artists is suing Miami Beach, accusing the city of censoring black talent. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa live now in Miami Beach with much more for us. Christian. And Calvin, you and the public will remember this story. We're talking about a piece of artwork that shows the face of a black man that was killed in a police involved shooting right here in Miami Beach several years ago. The lawsuit alleges that the city had no right to take down this piece of artwork, number one, because it's censorship, number two, because the exhibit was paid for by taxpayers. We felt though as though it was important to include an image of Raymond in the show. The piece from artist Rodney Jackson was a portrait memorial for Raymond Harris. <laughs> Police gunned him down in 2011 after chasing the 22 year old for reckless driving, barreling down Collins Avenue. Officers were found justified to shoot and never charged. We agreed on programming that would spark a crucial conversation about inclusion blackness. The artwork put up in the reframe art exhibit during last year's Memorial Day weekend. The city of Miami Beach funded the art show to promote inclusiveness, but ended up pulling the piece, claiming it did not fit their vision. Here's what the mayor told us then. We were trying to be more uniting than dividing. The city now being hit with this lawsuit from the ACLU, accusing Mayor Dan Gelber and the city manager, Jimmy Morales, of violating the artist's right to free speech. This case, we think, illustrates the importance of the need to, to have these forums, to have these spaces, to have the conversations that that artwork and that that exhibit was intended to have. A spokesperson for the city of Miami Beach tells me neither the mayor nor the city manager can comment on this because they have not officially been served with the lawsuit. That's the latest here outside of City Hall. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.